Hello, everyone. My name is Dan Regard. Welcome to the ABA Cross Border Institute. Today, we have a very special guest, Caroline Goulding from TikTok. She is the Chief Data Privacy Officer, and she follows that up from her previous stint with another social media giant, LinkedIn, where she was also the Data Privacy Officer. Caroline, welcome and thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Dan. Delighted to be here. So you recently participated in our ABA Cross-Border Institute. We had it last week. It was a virtual conference. Uh, you were spectacular in your contribution. Uh, tell me, though, how did you first get involved in the Cross-Border Institute? Thanks, Dan. Would you believe this is my first time being part of the conference faculty? Uh, and it's also my first time attending. It's been really a pleasure and, and impressive to witness it from both angles uh, and the level of sophistication that goes into to making the magic happen. Uh, for a conference that I'm aware only began a few short years ago in 2017, uh, it's really firmly established itself uh, as the go-to place to keep up to date on all things uh, data protection, privacy and security, uh, as well as e-discovery. So, um, was really, really, you know, pleased and humbled to be a part of it. Well, one of the things I think that came out this year was the fact that this entire area is still very much in flux. What we thought was resolved is in change, either legally or politically or geographically. And then we have cases that have risen to the top that have stressed out some of our um, beliefs or some of our foundations. Any perspective on where we might be going for the next uh, two to three years in this? <laughs> the, the, the million dollar question indeed. Uh, I think the great thing about conferences like this is, you know, they, there's a lot of questions posed. Uh, there's not necessarily all, there are some solutions and, and I know the conference places a huge emphasis on the, the practical guidance and the practical element. Um, I think looking into the crystal ball, you know, one thing's for certain is we all uh, became keenly aware in, in the time of remote working, in the time of a pandemic that, you know, data protection didn't go away. If anything, it, it, it came up even more to the fore. So I think one thing that I would wager um, a bet on for sure is that it's, it's not going away. It's ever increasing. And, uh, you know, even the uh, and what was discussed at the conference too, you know, the extent to which it impacts employees. And in one shape or another, we are all employees. I think um, we can be certain that just for users, advertisers, customers, and employees, you know, privacy is, is only going in, in one direction and, and more and more to the fore. Well, whether we're working from home, as I am here, or from your remote office where you are, from the United States to Ireland, it's great to cross the gap, to bring the knowledge together. And I really thank you, and we all thank you for your participation this year. You were spectacular. And, and I believe you and peers of yours represent the new generation as we move forward through the GDPR and our other data regulation frameworks. So thank you for your contribution. Uh, your experience was such an addition to what we're doing. It was extremely helpful. And as you point out, it brings out the practical side of dealing with these issues. Thank you, Dan. Uh, I must say, I, re I really enjoyed the panel that, that I was fortunate to be a part of. And we know it's become a bit of a cliche to say that we're living in unprecedented times. And um, though that's really the reality. Uh, and now we know where many of us around the globe are moving from you know, the era of remote working, um, the thorny subject of, of employee monitoring, privacy issues in the home. You mentioned your home office, my home office, um, conducting investigations remotely. Um, and as we know, we're, we're now entering you know, the era of hybrid working. Uh, and so it'll be interesting, I'm sure, next year's conference to, to maybe delve more deeper into that and how it's working when, when some of us are in the office and some of us are still at home. Well, until next year, where we hope to see each other in Amsterdam, uh, for those of you who did not see Caroline's presentation in her panel, the materials are still available online at the ABA cross-border website. And um, speaking on behalf of the faculty planning committee, thank you, Caroline. And thank you, everybody, for making this such a great conference this year.